Hi, Wilma here. And New York skyline is behind me. That means it's another video about my trip to Bulgaria, right? That makes total sense. And this time we come into Varna. So why Varna? Well, I really wanted to visit the seaside, so I considered the options. And you know, Sofia is in the west of the country, about 500 kilometers away from the sea. So Dimi, my Bulgarian friend and guide on this trip, suggested taking a plane to Varna. Because it cost about 10 euros one way and uh, just 45 minutes to fly, so you know it was a no-brainer, if you ask me, of how I can actually see the sea. Varna is the third largest city in Bulgaria, as well as the biggest seaport of the country. The history traces all the way back to Thracians. However, after getting off the bus that took us from the airport to our Airbnb, I had a different feeling. The part where we were they had a classic mixture of plain Soviet and more charming 19th century architecture. The man on the bike. It's a beautiful old building. And another one. Yeah, architecture style is quite similar. Gradina. Morska Gradina. Morska Gradina. Okay, tell us more. Sea Garden. Sea Garden. Yeah, basically it's part by the sea. Oh. Beautiful. I saw Sea Garden. There should be sea creatures in Sea Garden. Maybe there are. I don't know. I haven't been. Oh. I thought you know all of the Bulgaria. Anyways, the city didn't blow my mind at first, but my actual destination was the big water, and I was pleasantly surprised about Black Sea in Varna. Despite the similarities, it felt different. The shore was clean of stones and it was nice coming into the water. The only constant that remained was the storm on the very first day of arrival. For some reason, any time I go to Black Sea, it's storming when I'm around. Probably because of the excitement. On the way back, we decided to take a different route through embankment and city center. The man, I came up with the greatest joke. Listen, why get in a boat where you can put all your friends where you can get the boat to kill all your enemies? I know, in my head it sounded funnier, sorry. That is an engine. Yeah. And this is like... For lights? Oh, wow, actually, there is like a helicopter in the show. No, I think it's close already. Nice. I mean, it's technically, why buy a ticket if you can just watch from here, right? You know, for me, Ukrainian who spent a significant time at the Black Sea as a kid, this city really felt like Crimea. That's crazy. I mean, it has it has just like okay maybe three percent delay wipes, ninety seven percent Crimea wipes. No, I'm filming the planetary. <laughs> nah, she's fine. I don't know what he's even playing, but it sounds a bit uh, Oriental. No, but this is Bulgarian music. Yeah, I understand, but you guys are a bit Oriental. So soon we were already at the main entrance to the sea garden, or more like we exited through it. And this street led us straight into the main pedestrian zone. And for me, it felt even more like this classic Crimean resorts like Yalta or Yevpatoria, just in the architecture and the whole atmosphere of it. It may not sound that I like it, but I like it. Yeah. 
you, you don't think... sound like you like it. How do you mean? Oh, also I like this. It's also super nice. That's fancy. And Kishinev. Yeah, but they just Kishinev. need to... Kishinev! Kiev! <laughs> Why there is some piece of shit next to Kiev? What the heck? <laughs> Minsk, Vilnius, Warsaw, Riga, Tallinn, Helsinki, Moscow... I... <gasps> Amsterdam! Bursting with joy, we continued our walk and stumbled upon the archaeological museum of Warna, as well as their gorgeous cat guardian. Like a yeah, a lot of <laughs> a lot of beautiful cats here. Yeah. As if they selected them <laughs> and killed all. And there we were, back in the modern parts of Varna, which for me continued to resemble those nostalgic views of the cities and places that I may have already visited. You know, it was a warm and nice feeling of being back home. Here comes the night time, and you can see how bad I am at handling my camera for night shoots. How does it work? Anyhow, went back to the sea garden and then to the embankment to have a nice meal with the sea here. After that, we dived into Varna's nightlife. <laughs> Luckily, the considered local authorities made everyone leave at midnight because of some virus. So we had no other choice but to head out to empty streets to just stroll around. That allowed us to see St. Nicholas Church the ancient Roman Terma ruins, as well as just to enjoy the night looks of pedestrian zone. And of course, we visited the opera house and the main fountain, which unfortunately wasn't active. Actually, must admit that night Varna is much more charming and magical in its own sense. I really loved the way the lighting works on most of the buildings. And of course, we also visited the main site, which is the remission of the Mother of God Cathedral. However, unfortunately, at that time we were around, it was under renovation. It was already quite late, so we had to say so long to the night city, because we had to catch an early morning bus to our next destination. As always, thank you very much for listening and paying attention to what I have to say about this city. And uh, I hope that uh, you will have the great rest of your day and maybe want to check out all the previous videos about Bulgaria. That would be great. All right. Leave a like, dislike, comment, whatever you want to do. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.